Hello there. Good day. Uh, this is Jay Coppert, uh, co-founder of the Transformational Travel Council. Uh, and uh, I am again here at Seward Park in Seattle. Uh, and uh, we are going to be diving into travel and the search for meaning. Uh, and I've got a very, very special guest today, a good friend of mine. Uh, and uh, we, we had an opportunity. I think we, we first met uh, in Israel on a reality uh, uh, Schusterman Foundation journey, uh, leadership journey, which was fantastic. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, just lovely to see you today, Mike, as always. Uh, looking forward to diving in. Thanks, Jake. Always great to see you. And I know we've uh, we both had a lot of transformation since 2019 when we first connected. Yeah, yeah, we have. So uh, Mike, if you don't know him, he's, he's, he's kind of a big deal. Uh, he has a... <laughs> <laughs> he has the travel with meaning storytelling platform uh, and uh, as well as a podcast, uh, which is which is one of my favorite podcasts. It's available on all all platforms. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm excited to, to to share your story. So why don't you tell us a little bit about travel with meaning? How did you get started? Yeah, thanks, Jake. Uh, grateful to be here. Always good to see you. And hello, transformational travel community. Um, Let's see. I, I love traveling and I was fortunate to grow up with parents who also love to travel, especially my mom. She instilled this wonderful wanderlust in me at a, at a young age. And I embarked on my first solo trip ever after high school. And I really never looked back after that. I had about a decade or so in the entertainment industry as a talent agent and manager. But I came to that place of being in a career that was really unfulfilling. And I didn't have a purpose for myself. I'm sure a lot of you've kind of had that aha moment where you wanted more. And so I bought a one-way ticket, sold all my belongings, and I just started traveling. And through the course of my travels, different cities, different countries, I started talking to people. And I started asking everyone the same question. What does travel mean to you? And what I learned is that we're all so much more alike than we are different. And when I came home, I was super just energized by all this energy and conversations I had. I really wanted to share my stories and my experiences. My creative juices were just on overload. And a few years later, I launched Travel With Meaning in 2017. We now have a pretty robust network of over a hundred podcasts, 30 plus live recorded shows, and have built a community of like-minded travelers that is Travel With Meaning. Yeah, fantastic, Mike. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I love listening to your podcast. I mean, you're just so so real and and genuine, uh, and you have uh, uh, this great way about you that uh, really gets people engaged and and mm. um, in a meaningful way, right? Uh, and so I, I I applaud you for that. And again, happy to have you here. So uh, diving right in, um, we're going to talk a little bit about travel and the search and the search for meaning. So let's do it. Coming back to you, right? Like, uh, you know, what does What's the role that travel plays in your life's search for meaning? Mm. We're turning the tables a little bit, huh? Yeah. The, the role that travel plays in my life is curiosity and just connection and wanting to understand more about myself and others in the pursuit of this journey that we're all on. Um, finding ways to really just be in the moments and be in places that I could enjoy other people, other cultures, other experiences near and far, whatever that looks like. And travel for me has really just been that guiding light in these connections and in these conversations. Fantastic. Um, looks like you froze for just a second there, but- I, Well, back. I thought you froze uh, as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll move right through it. Uh, so, you know, when we talk about travelers and their search for meaning, you know, what are what are some tips and recommendations, you know, that that you have that you can provide those travelers and the the many individuals that, that you connect with and, and how to find more meaning in their travel? Travel with meaning has interviewed well over a hundred extraordinary people who've all been transformed through travel in their life, in their career. And it's been interviewing these people that I discovered these similar themes of their meaningful stories. And these stories and these meaningful themes were, were shared organically with me. And some of these stories, I will say, had never even been shared publicly. And so that was really cool to hear. And it was from these themes that I was able to create these six principles of how to travel with meaning. 
And I'm going to share just three of these principles with you that have been a wonderful kind of you know, building block, if you will. Three examples. The first one is nature is the best therapy. It works really well as you're sitting in nature as we speak. And Danny Washington, TV host, marine biologist, had told me on an episode, she said, nature, especially when I'm around the ocean, is freedom. And then climber April Davidson had told me that she told us a story about getting on the wrong train or getting on the wrong bus, but it all worked out okay because she was able to go with the flow. And then it's always about the people, right? And my favorite quote from the Wizard of Oz, it's not where you go, but who you meet along the way. And so these six principles that I've been able to come together have been like this amazing guiding light that I've heard from other people. You know, I've been able to take these stories and be able to put them together to talk about how we create more meaning when we travel near or far. Yeah, fantastic. So, you know, speaking uh, of the the individuals you meet on the way, along the way, yeah, uh, the the encounters you have on the road, right? Like that, those 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 moments where you connect with with another human being, you know, that uh, has you know maybe a small or even a really big impact on our lives, right? Like that that, that there's so much. Um, there's, it's just, it's, it's special. In my mind, that is, that is one of the primary reasons that, that we get out there, right? Just so we can see what it looks like from, from, from another perspective, from other, yeah. other person's uh, shoes. Uh, yeah. So how does, when, when someone's traveling, you know, in the search for meaning, you know, what does that mean for the people and places that they visit? How, mm. how, how is that meaningful for them? You know, I think, I think travel is really just unique for each of us and the adventures we have and the places we go. Um, the, the places really kind of amplify it, but it is these people, as I said, it's, it's not where you go, but who you meet along the way that really has this impactful part of our journey. And whether you're traveling solo or I guess you're with a group, it's, it's to be aware and to be open. And that's where our growth and growth in life really happens. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I, you know, I, I when we talk about transformation and transformational travel, I, I, I really feel that meaning and and meaning making is that bridge mm. to to making change in your life, right? Without going through some sort of process of, you know, reflecting and meaning making, it really, you know, it it it, it can be challenging to get to the point of real, sustainable, enduring transformation in our lives. Absolutely. Um, so on that note, just to close it out, uh, the Transformational Travel Council, of which you've been uh, a member for quite some time, many years now, uh, <laughs> what's what's the role we're playing in, 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 in helping people search for meaning? And then I think you've got uh, a little bit of an announcement to make about uh, a collaboration. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. Well, let's talk about that, because I think the TTC has a big role. Um, you know, we're in this new dawn of travel, and the, the industry has shifted. And the collaboration will be a huge part in how we all choose to go forward, right? And I, I wanna first, I guess, acknowledge the TTC and the community for really creating programming and the support of transformational travel in the industry. It's, it's had this wonderful building block and we're all leaders. We all are going to need to support one another to build this inclusive industry that really creates meaningful travel. So with that, I'm excited to announce collaboration between the TTC and Travel with Meaning for a new program on meaningful travel, which is a, a fundamental, a, fun, a, a kind of a, a roadmap, if you will, for travelers, for destinations, for industry professionals as, as a way to identify the aspects of meaningful travel using this toolkit that the TTC has created and the meaningful principles that the Travel with Meaning community has identified, putting them into use for our big adventures or our daily life. And we'll have a lot more on this coming up in 2024. So stay tuned on that. Um, I'm excited. I think a lot of this is really going to put a lot of the conversations we've had and everything I've learned over the years in full practice. And I can't wait to really see what the next chapters have in store. In the meantime, everyone give us a follow on Instagram at Travel With Meaning or make sure you check out the Travel With Meaning podcast on all major streaming platforms and definitely look out in 2024 
for wonderful, meaningful conversations from the TTC and Travel with Meaning. Uh, Mike, couldn't be more excited about it. And I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, you know, I think in this moment, you know, so many of us are craving connection and, and purpose and meaning. And I'm, I'm really honored to have the opportunity to, to, to collaborate with you and, and open up this opportunity for others to, to maybe look a little beneath the surface and, and mm. use travel as, as this tool for, for growth and for healing and for meaning. So thank you again, Mike, for, for being with me today. And uh, I know we'll be catching up soon, my man. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jake. See you soon, my friend.